we have the start of day sting. Or not? Ah, part three, the long fall. And, oh, achievement unlocked. What? And the uh, morning music has changed. I guess maybe because it's November now instead of October. Oh, new journal entry. The cloaked figure and something. I don't know. Still some blank pages here, but I don't know if I'll if they'll ever get filled in though. But we'll see. But uh, time to check messages. Okay, message from B and from Greg. Um, hey, hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. And Greg. Hey, dude. Sorry you couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice today, uh... Oh, well, it should be today. But I guess it's Todd. Yeah. Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Well, let's see what today's news story is. Bright Harbor Post, is Autumn secretly killing you? I doubt it. But I suspect we're going to get a new song since band practice is today. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We have to take, like, one moment and make it like the official version of us. I uh, can still look at look at the bird again. You're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Interesting that cats keep a pet bird. Do 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 do. Uh, no. Do do do. We have any detective books out here? Oh, of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it. Very close. And that seems to be it for the bookcase. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Aw, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Well... It seems to be that, uh could check the basement again, but I suspect may have everything that... Yeah. I, it seems all there is here is the safe. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna have a little more water, I guess. Okay, then. Well, maybe Mom will feel like talking now. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. 
I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Can talk some more. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay? Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Sure. Or not right now, Gadget. Might as well hear it. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen. With a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Or he should have been a detective. Yeah. I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? Or what else is in the room? Uh, how about we ask about the scar? A straight line, a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. Well, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, inspector mom. And, okay, that did fill in a page. Uh, boom. Oh, it, rather it added to the mom page. Uh, the body of the story. Alright, well, this we can actually head out. Um, don't know if the... Oh, yeah, it's, it is rainy today, which probably means Chad's cough is not going to be on the roof, but, well, I may have blown that entirely as well, so. Ah, yeah, well, you never know. I guess I should have saved the game while in the filter. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up crap that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. 
Want to hear a new poem? Always. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Or what's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. Ha ha ha, well, I'm a big enough target. Ha ha ha, I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Okay, well, I guess Chazikov is out today. Maybe I can actually get something done. What does the porch guy have to say? The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Alright, well, I'm gonna jump. Uh, okay, yeah, I have to use these windows sills, oh, those window sills to get up to the roof. Yeah, and he has his telescope set up, so we might actually be able to do something. Miss May Borowski! Present! Mmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah! Come have a look. Look, my eyes! Filter! Ugh. Okay. Well, yeah, so we got this again. Um, okay. Yep, there we go. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Or, I saw a big snake once. At the zoo? In scouts, we were hiking. One was sighting itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big <laughs> snake. Alright, there's another dusk star found. Sure, there are more rounds to find. Oh, okay, yeah, we've got. Uh, wait, is it here? No, this way? Yeah, there we go. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Grammar C, the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive? Or how did... Wait, what? Not so. His body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. 
will occurs. Uh, so you can only check on two dusk stars per day that Chaz comes out. Well, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More than a couple days? I guess I should have stuck around longer for the second one. We're just saved in the menu. Oh, well. Uh, Big Snake and Grammar scene. And it probably, yeah, I guess I missed the page on uh, the previous one. Um, I guess I could uh, try hanging this way, although I suspect there's nothing up here. There wasn't last time. Yeah, I... Or oh, wait, I can look here. Can see Penderson's house from here. What a ghoul that guy is. He has hated me forever. Just because I put an M80 down his roof gutter. I mean, it's just petty, this grudge. That was like forever ago. Okay, that seems to be it. Uh, yeah, that's where the construction is.